started. Nobody ever plans on becoming an addict. Not and at all. Then when you have to, you know, they say get like they all say, you know, get high on your own supply, um, and you and you have to start doing it just so you don't get dope sick. Mm-hmm. A lot of people don't realize that you know at that point it's it's just surviving. It's not even feeling better. Now you're just taking the opioids just so you're not throwing up and puking. You know what I mean? Man, the opioid conversation is such a large one because it's it's similar to the mental health conversation that I that I'm often a part of. It's 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 so it's such a varying degree of addiction that people just have such a negative stigma around an addict. And not that being an addict is a good thing, but that not every person who's an addict is like shoving needles in their arm, hiding underneath the bridge, can't control themselves, you know, slobbering and 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 one dirty needle away from the end of their life that's not everyone's reality uh, there's spectrums to it and there's things called functioning alcoholics there are people who are sex addicts and like so there's just a it's just a variety and i know cuz i do a significant amount of work here in metro atlanta in the addiction recovery space so I'm very familiar with the territory and the nuances um the thing i would just say is of course be careful of of allowing um you know something that could you know taking advantage of the healthcare system you know they they're, they're expecting that if they give you a 30 day supply that you're going to use this 30 day supply but a lot of people you know will will not use it and then they'll double up and they'll get a refill and they'll just get a couple of refills and now they're stacked and now they're popping two or three and they're three months ahead so you know they never get discovered and then now they when they finally catch up to the monthly prescription, then they're like, well, wait, I can't keep taking this amount because I only get a 30 day refill every time. So now where do I get more? Yeah. And then it becomes a, a whole drug deal, you know? And so um, we just got to watch out for these warning signs and, uh, and make sure that we're building quality relationships with people, checking in on people we care about. I'm telling you right now, you'd be surprised about the number of people who have mental health issues or addiction issues who you would never know. They might be your favorite hero. Um, You know, the story that comes to mind is Robin Williams. You know, I use him often in my talk. Like, think about that. Like, that's that's just his whole story in in public. I never forget why. I don't know if you followed his journey much, but if you watch his interview, there's an interview with him and they're, they're asking him how he got started in comedy. And he starts talking about how he used comedy to get his mother's attention because they were always too busy. Mm-hmm. And that's how and, and and so the the interviewer is like fascinated that this kid 